I'm Tana Aljo. I'm a junior setter for the NC State volleyball team. And I traveled to Vietnam this summer and went there for a month through a program called Coach for College. We went to five hours south of Ho Chi Minh. And I, caught, I uh, taught English and I coached volleyball. Just driving to the school, it was um, really eye-opening because you just saw kids riding their bikes to school. And we were in a big bus, so we had looks coming from us each way. And um, having kids run up to the bus every time we got out was so exciting. And it made you have energy during the full day, walking into classes. The girls would always bring me flowers for my hair. They would just stick them in there. Even the guys, like I'd just be sitting there, and the guys would just stick them in my hair because they are just so giving and so loving, and um, I loved every moment of it. I'd say that we got lucky on the food. The hotel that we stayed at was the only hotel in um, Long Mai, in the little country area that we stayed. And we had a big bowl of rice, a soup with a vegetable, and then some type of uh, meat, and then we had usually pork plate and it had a lot of bones in it and we had a fish plate which had fish sauce and that was um, a little interesting for a couple of the American coaches because they put the fish um, just sitting there and then they put like a plate underneath it and whatever the sun like this they put it um, under the sun and then whatever drips from the fish is what they put on the fish plate so once they told us that we kind of stayed away from the fish sauce but uh, we definitely had a lot of rice and soy sauce for the three weeks that we were working the camp in Vietnam. Volleyball was the most popular sport. The kids were playing at 7 a.m. every time we drove up in the bus. Uh, they were so intense and they, they would get mad at each other if they messed up. But, I mean, they were all really little. and. It really surprised me too because they were like I was coaching eighth and ninth graders, and so they were so they were so short. But those kids would do all types of tricks. Like instead of hitting the ball over, they would be like look this way, but then they set it this way, like right over here, and then it would be open, and you were just like what? So they are really smart uh, strategic wise. Darian Hopper went last year, and whenever she came back, I was so interested on how the whole program went, and so she showed me pictures, and I got an email from Tanya about January, February, and then spoke to my mom about it, and she told me to go for it because I've always wanted to travel, and this was through, uh, it was through Coach for College and with other D1 athletes. So they're kind of in the same boat as me. I was wanting to go and help other kids and teach them things that they've never really uh, not about. I've realized not that uh, our society is spoiled, but we do take things for granted because running water over there is, um, it's, I mean, we couldn't even brush our teeth with the running water. We'd use water bottles. And um, if you did, for some reason, drink the water, you would get sick so easily because it's not clean. And, um, I think the kids were just so loving in every single way. And before we left, they would they tried writing notes in English to give them to um, a lot of the American coaches. And they gave rings and jewelry, and this was stuff that they took off their own body to give to us. And it was so, it meant so much to me, and it really um, has changed my um, opinion and opened my eyes to so many things I want to do now in the future.